Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Josie's Point of View, where we focus on human nature stories from the Carolinas and beyond. If you're new to my channel, I want to say welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you're a returning viewer, by all means, I'm glad you decided to come back. Today is Saturday and it's June the 3rd, 2021. Thank you once again for tuning in. And today our story takes us to Fort Bragg here in North Carolina. Take a look at the headline. And it reads Fort Bragg 2020 Unsolved Murders. This is going to be a two-part series, and this is part one, and we're going to focus on the death of Army Specialist Roman Martinez. Well, it does appear as if the entire military installation at Fort Bragg has become famous for keeping secrets. They have gone completely silent when it comes to three murders from 2020, and many of us are left with unanswered questions and wondering whether or not we will ever have closure on these murders, and most of all, the public keeps wondering whether we should be fearful. In other words, whether Fort Bragg is a safe place for those who live there, for those who work there, and for those who shop on that installation. And I want to acknowledge as we begin that this video contains a little bit of violence and the information some of you may find distressing, but stay with me. I'm only going to provide just enough information to communicate the main points of this discussion. Now, I want to begin with the death of Army Specialist Roman Martinez because this case I've been following from its inception from May of last year. And I know I promised my subscribers that I would keep this case alive until it's solved. And many of them have been asking for updates. And I'm a little bit late on this one, but this is what I've been able to find out since our last publication. So I want to begin with the death of this young soldier. And for those who may not know, let me just tell you a little bit about his background. He is Army Specialist Enrique Roman Martinez, a young 21-year-old paratrooper from California who was assigned to the 82nd Airborne as a Human Resource Specialist, and this was his first military assignment. According to report, he had been at Fort Bragg since 2017. And you may recall the death of Specialist Roman Martinez took place around Memorial Day weekend of last year. He left Fort Bragg in a company of seven others, six men and a woman, and they traveled to the Outer Banks in North Carolina for a short vacation. Now, the Outer Banks has several islands, and they were on one of those small islands. Now, what actually happened on that weekend remains a mystery to this day, and we are no closer to finding out who actually killed this young man. So let's just review what we know about this case. So we will begin with a telephone call one of the men in that group made to park authorities. It was late in the evening on May the 23rd, 2020, that a male contacted the Cape Lookout State Police to report that a member of the party, Specialist Roman Martinez, was missing. Now, when we first heard about this in the news, it was simply stated that a soldier went running that morning and did not return. It was stated that he left, he was wearing black shorts, no shirts, and he had left his ID and his cell phone behind. And this group, the group was concerned when he did not come back. That is what was initially communicated by the news media but eventually when we heard the tape recording of that conversation it painted a much different picture now that phone call was made on May the 23rd at approximately 7.30 p.m. During that conversation, the male caller told police their colleague had walked off in the middle of the night and they were concerned because he was only wearing PT shorts, no t-shirt, and he had left his ID and glasses behind. The caller also said that Roman Martinez had been displaying suicidal tendency and that they were afraid he was going to hurt himself. He said the last time the group saw specters Roman Martinez was around midnight when everybody went to sleep. And in in anticipation of the next question, the caller said they had been trying all day to find him, and they were trying to find the park police as well, without any success. And well, that's what they said. But I should mention, by the time this call was made, it was now over 18 hours since the caller said they had last seen their colleague, Specialist Roman Martinez. But the information provided to the 911 operator by that unidentified caller was just not adding up. It seemed as if the caller was trying to paint a picture that a disappearance could be a suicide. But we wondered why, if you know a member of your party had suicidal tendency, why were you not watching him during the night? How is it everybody went to bed at exactly the same time? And how could the caller say they had been trying to reach Park Police all day without success, and they had been searching for their comrades all day, 
but we know that was a lie. We found out they had been lying because there were reports of them driving at very high speed along the beach during the day. They seemed to be having a wonderful time. And on that afternoon, they had encountered a park police who came up to them and asked them to move their vehicle. That would have been the perfect opportunity to tell the police a member of their party was missing, but that did not happen. And immediately the park police began sending out alerts through posting on their Facebook page. They were letting uh, people know a soldier was missing and asking them to provide information on any sightings. Then the Coast Guard dispatched a plane to begin an aerial search while a group from Fort Bragg arrived to assist the park police in conducting ground surveillance. All this as they tried to put pieces together outside of the public view. They really weren't telling us a whole lot. The weather was not the best. We were having some severe storms during that time. And many suspected that the true picture of what happened to Specialist Roman Martinez, that it had not been fully realized. And as the days went by, some of us suspected it would not be a good ending. And we were suspicious of the inconsistent information from his peers. Things just did not seem right. But at the same time, we remained hopeful. And exactly one week later, it was on May 28 to be exact, Human Remains watched a show on one of the islands on the Outer Banks, and dental records confirmed a positive identification that the remains were those of that missing soldier, Army Specialist Roman Martinez. Immediately, we were told that his death was a homicide. Somebody had killed him and disposed of his body. But what we did not know at the time was that the remains mentioned was his head. That's what was found. And to this date, his torso has never been located. Now, the autopsy was result was released a few months later, and it helped to fill in some of the pieces, but there were still so many unanswered questions. And I have to tell you, I become very emotional when I begin to talk about it. This was just horrible. Now, as we already mentioned, his head was the only thing found. And according to the autopsy report, the soldier was decapitated, or in other words, his head was cut off from the rest of his body. The findings revealed that even though cutting off his head definitely resulted in his death, since the rest of his body was never located, um, they could not say whether or not he was killed by another means and then his head was cut off or whether or not his head was cut off first and that is what resulted in him being dead. Now specifically the autopsy findings released to the media states that there were multiple chops to the head and the jaw was broken in two places. So whoever did this was having some difficulty getting the head off the body. So they had to keep chopping at it repeatedly and in the process they ended up breaking the jaw in a few places. This is just so cruel. You would think you're talking about an animal but no, it was not. You're talking about an army soldier whose life was cut short by an unidentified assailant. And since the release of the autopsy findings, we have not had any meaningful information on this case. We have known since last July, really, that the FBI was assisting with the investigation and the reward remains at 25000 I read in a statement issued by his family that he was just months away from being released from the Army under medical discharge. And it was not because of any type of mental health issue, but because of condition known as chronic compartmental syndrome. So it appears at some point the soldier had injured his leg and this was creating an ongoing problem for him and that sent out light bulbs to me because in my mind he was probably seen as a weakling because he could not keep up with the demands of the harsh uh, running and other physical fitness requirements makes me wonder if this trip to the outer bass was just a plan to get rid of him because he just did not fit in we can only speculate we still have no answers now, there was a release in February of this year, February 2021, which essentially says that the paratrooper's murder remains um, under investigation and that the investigation is ongoing. So we continue to send our heartfelt condolences to his mother and other members of his family. We want you to know we have not forgotten about your son, Army Specialist Roman Martinez, and we will continue to provide regular updates until this murder is solved. We believe it will be solved. 
And that's all I have for you right now. Feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this video. And by all means, feel free to like it and to share it. And if you hear anything out there in the chat and you don't think they're significant, by all means, drop me a line. Let me know what's the gossip, what else people are talking about regarding this case. And if you haven't done so already, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on that red subscribe button on the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. And if you click on this notification bell right here, you'll be the first to know whenever a new video is uploaded. I thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.